Facebook, how's everyone going today? Happy Friday. If, you, uh, if you're in my group, you'll have seen I've updated the, the challenge for a run today, so jump in, give that a go. Um, also, it's Spartan today, so I'm just finishing my work for the day. I'm gonna head off into, um, into Sydney Olympic Park shortly, do a little bit of volleying there. Can be whacking some people with the sticks as a gladiator, so I'll be in the Spartan costume. So that'll be a bit of fun. Let me know if you're gonna be there, guys. Uh, I asked a question in my group the other day um, about what you guys want to start hearing about, what, what, sort of, what sort of content. I want to start dispelling a couple of fitness myths. I want to start educating some people a little bit more regularly on my, uh, on my social media. So this is going to be across my Facebook and my Instagram. And I asked you guys a couple of topics. Sam, Leon, how are you going, guys? I asked you guys for a, a couple of topics. I ran a, a survey yesterday on my uh, a little poll on my Insta asking whether you guys wanted to hear about uh, you know, should you should you train fasted, or I think the other option was, are you actually going to lose more weight if you're training in a in a jacket? I see guys going and try and make themselves sweat in the gym in an effort to lose more weight. So training fasted uh, was the one that won today. So I thought I'd get on and do a little bit of a talk about that today, guys. So there is there's heaps of conflicting information about this topic, guys. Uh, it's a little bit controversial. I've made a heap of notes. Um, that I'm sort of going to reference as we go along. There are pros and cons to consider uh, with fasted exercise. So without giving you guys a, uh, a science les uh, sorry, excuse me, a science lesson, I am going to try and cover a few of those topics. So basically, while while not eating uh, before working out isn't for everyone, there are some benefits gained from working out in a fasted state and and keeping it an intermittent fasting regime in general. Uh, I personally can fast for about 24 hours. I do so regularly. Uh, I haven't actually eaten since uh, probably yesterday morning. At the moment, I'm just about to break my fast. Um, now, this is really extreme. Uh, I tend to do five and two insulin fasting, so I'll eat five days of the week fast for two. Uh, it, it is very extreme. I would never tell a client to do it. Uh, it took me years to get the, the discipline and the, the understanding of the knowledge and, and being able to understand and feel what my body's telling me. Uh, if I am on a fasting day and my energy levels drop to sort of dangerous levels, I will eat. Um, so, you know, it's not a strict set of rules, but I find that it's a very good way for me to be able to live the life that I want to live and also keep my, my fat at a manageable level. Now, studies have shown that you, you can... Uh, you can up your insulin sensitivity and also your human growth hormone levels. If you train while fasted, now these are both good good things, understand that this is a fairly advanced tactic, guys. So if you're eating fast food and you're partying on the weekends and you think that tactically timing your meals, you know, to give you that extra edge in the gym Monday to Friday is the best way to spend your energy, then you're playing with yourself. Um, you know, I made something a little while ago called the, uh, the Pyramid of Priorities, and I'll just flick the camera around there. You can see there, so... Basically shows that if you don't have a, a basic, you know, your basic nutrition, right? If you don't have your fucking calories in check, and you're worried about what supplements you're taking and, and um, you know, what times you're eating, your priorities are backwards. Take it back to basics. Get your cal get your calories right first. Get your macros right after that. Then worry about the smaller micronutrients. Then worry about your meal timings. Then worry about spending money on supplements. Um, but back to sort of going off a little bit of topic there. So, should you be training on an empty stomach? Now, first things first. Hey guys, heaps of guys jumping on. First things first. If you're properly malnourished, uh, your immune system is going to be pretty shot. Uh, I wouldn't be putting your body through any unnecessary stress. So I'm going to assume that if you're talking about, you know, fasted cardio, that you're neither malnourished, neither are you smashing macros three times a day. You've probably got a pretty decent handle on your nutrition. You just, you know, want, want to work out whether going and jumping on the treadmill in the morning at 5 a.m. without eating is, is a good or a bad idea. So... First things first, let's talk about what your body does with its fat while, while you're exercising. So fat is stored in tissue called adipose tissue. Um, for that fat to be burnt, it needs to be converted to triglycerides. And then those triglycerides are gonna be released into your bloodstream. This is called lipolysis. 
Now, it usually happens a few minutes into exercise as you go into your aerobic energy system. Um, oxygen, understand that oxygen is needed uh, in the process to break that fat down. So this is why you don't want to be eating a, a really large meal, especially a fatty one before working out. Um, the more work your body has to do digesting your food, the more blood will be directed away uh, to your digestive system, which means there's less blood in the muscles, meaning less oxygen, which means it's going to be able to, to break down less of that fat. It's also going to see the less, less blood in your muscles, the less performance you're going to get, so you're going to get a lot less bang for your buck. Now, the point of uh, fasting before exercising is supposedly to lower your, your stores of glycogen. Now, Glycogen is, is the broken down form of carbohydrates, so it's basically what sugar breaks down to at its simplest level. Um, it, it's your body's main energy source. Now, your body will typically use glycogen as its priority uh, for fuel, so you're usually gonna burn up your glycogen before you start burning up any fat. So, there's a big but here. Glycogen is your best energy source. So exercising with depleted sources uh, will mean you're gonna eat less output. So in, in theory, if you have less glycogen, you know, you're gonna be burning more fat more quickly. That sounds like a good thing, right? But your body's gonna be running less efficiently with less glycogen. So less output, less bang for buck in your training. So studies have found that this offset, this drop in performance that you're gonna get with, you know, with a lack of glycogen is gonna cancel out any gains that you would have made to that fat loss. So understand that in the scheme of things, you know, doing your cardio fast at say first thing in the morning is probably beneficial. Um, there's definitely gonna be gains to it. You, you are gonna burn fat. Probably not gonna be breaking any PBs training while fasted. Um, on the other side of things, Moving weights, training weightlifting, trying to build muscle while fasting is just fucking stupid. Um, when pushing weights, you, you want to be in the best condition possible. You want to be able to get the best gains. You want to avoid the, the injury. So what's the takeaway from this, guys? Basically, do what works for you. Do what you can stick to consistently. That's where your gains are. Uh, I personally can work out faster. It doesn't bother me much. Some people feel sick with fasted exercise. I... As a general rule, I usually push my first meal out, out of the morning as late as possible in the day. Um, often I'll do some faster cardio or some HIIT exercise in the morning. If I lift weights, it will generally be in the afternoon. Uh, coincidentally, that's usually when your, uh, your testosterone is peaking as well. Best time to be, to be pushing weights in the early afternoon as a bloke. Um, always make sure you eat after weights. So make sure you have enough protein going in so you're not getting any muscular atrophy uh, as, your body, as your body struggles to get fuel. So you don't, wanna, you don't wanna be fasting too much, burning too much energy, your body's breaking down your muscle. It's gonna take a lot longer to, um, to build that muscle than it will to break it down. Steve, James, how you going guys? Yeah, so guys, hopefully that's, uh, that's answered a few of the questions you guys might have had on whether to train faster, but as I said, there's pros and cons to both. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this or um, if you want any further clarity on any of the points I've said. Also, if I've made any errors, if you're also in fitness, you know more than I do. If I've made any errors, feel happy to uh, correct me. Always happy to, uh, to get myself corrected if I'm giving wrong information. Um, send me a direct message or just comment below this video. Also, guys, I'm going to be doing a lot more of this stuff. So I'm going to be getting live on my Facebook a little bit more. I'm going to be answering some questions, dispelling some myths. Um, let me know below in the comments what you want to hear, um, what you want to hear about. I'm happy to pretty much tackle any topic, happy to sit down and do the research uh, and, and jump on and uh, hopefully answer some questions for you guys. So, all right, I'm going to be, I'm going to be uh, shooting off to Spartan, guys. I've got Spartan over the weekend, so I'll be there this afternoon volunteering. Tomorrow I'll be running all day. If you're at Spartan, say hello. Otherwise, be prepared to uh, see my social media get smashed with Spartan content over the next few days. And I'll... Uh, I'll see you guys soon.